Hey guys, welcome back to Practical Pips. So today's video is going to be a thrift haul, a try on and a styling video, just mixing my old pieces in my closet in with my new thrifted items that I'm going to show you today. And if you are new here, just a quick welcome. This is a conscious style and fashion channel and my name's Pip. So if you're into thrifting, vintage and shopping your closet and getting more creative with pieces you already have, then make sure to hit that like button and also the subscribe button and join us. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this haul and have some fun. Okay, so first item up is a pair of white and black shorts with an elastic waist and kind of like paper bag style and I love the fact that they are like loose in the thighs and just really fun. Very classic colors. I don't have any shorts like this so I thought that they would be really fun to add to my spring and summer collection of shorts and they have two belt loops on the sides. Something that I did that I want to share with you is if you do thrift and you come across skirts or pants or shorts or anything on the bottom that is tagless, people either cut the tags out, completely ripped them out, or it was handmade and doesn't have any tags. You want to always know the front from back and not like literally spend like a minute trying to figure it out. So I did add my own little tag in the back. So now I do not have to worry about spending time deciding on what's the front and what's the back. Just a cute little tip I thought I would share with you and Okay, so how I style up these shorts, I had a lot of fun coming up with an outfit for these. I was thinking more of how do I see myself wearing these like in spring weather where I might still want to cover up on top with like a cute little blazer. So I thought just a basic black tank top underneath and then this really fun Kelly emerald green collarless blazer. It's kind of like the perfect length for these shorts. It's at the high hip level. So I felt like this was a good balance for the shorts if I was going to add a little blazer. And then I have on a slender pair of uh, loafers with a really nice silver chain and at the top of the toe area and then I have in just basic drop silver chain earrings and these are thrifted actually this was thrifted too the tank top is older and these are from 2009 so my outfit is super conscious and just awesome I feel really good in this I think it's such a fun like spring outfit can't wait to wear it my next piece up here is a plaid blazer. I think this is the coolest blazer. I love the colors of it and it's just so much fun and I feel like I don't have anything this bright in my closet um, in terms of a blazer. So this is super easy. I love to throw blazers on over t-shirts that are fitted, my favorite jeans, heels, and have a great handbag and sunglasses, maybe some earrings, and I'm ready to go. So it's really my go-to fast styling. So blazers are something I do collect. So when I thrift, I'm always looking for really unique ones and uh, or just really good classics. So. Okay, so how I'm styling up this amazing plaid blazer is I'm wearing all black underneath. So I have on the tank top for my last look. And then I throw on a pair of my favorite black Hudson skinny jeans. And then I paired them with these really fun thrifted shoes that I just showed you in my last video. So I really just love the idea of tying in the darker shades of pink in this blazer. For jewelry, I just kept in the same earrings that I had on in the last look um, because these buttons on this blazer are like pretty much, they have like silver and black tones in them. Okay, and then accessory wise to complete my look, I'm going to put on my favorite sunglasses I've had forever and then just a cross body bag, a really thin bag, I think makes this look kind of polished and complete. So I had a lot of fun putting this look together. Let's get on to the next look. So my next item up here is a freaking awesome vintage trench coat. It doesn't have like a belt loop or anything like that or a belt. It's made to be more like boxier style, which is so great. And the inside lining is this beautiful peach lining. I did not have a trench in this khaki color in my closet. So now I have one, it's vintage. I also did a lot of hand sewing on any areas that looked like they were ripping apart at the seam. So somebody 
that would normally see that might not pick this up, but everything can be mended and repaired carefully and with vintage. So if you can learn hand, hand sewing skills, you can fix a lot of thrifted pieces that you might otherwise turn or pass up. Okay guys, so this look here, styling this trench coat is kind of all over the place. So I kept on my black tank and I have a really cool tote that I got from my son's fundraiser for school. I paired these really fun vintage pants that I don't really wear that often. I thought it'd be really fun with a trench coat. Just the colors in the pants are burgundy and tan. And then I have on espadrilles, which I know is really random with this style pant, but I really like the idea of this for like, uh, again, I guess I'm really excited for spring because I'm really trying to put together like early spring outfits, things that I would wear in April. The hardware in this bag is like a brushed gold or antique gold finish. So I found some earrings that um, have that same finish. And I always tie my jewelry together with the hardware in my bag or my shoes. I think that's just very timeless and classy and you can never go wrong. So Next up is a button down. I collect button downs. If you follow me on here for a while, you know that I love to wear them. Um, I just love men's button downs especially, so I love this one. I, love, I don't have a green one, so it was a color that I didn't have. Now I have one. I think I loved the little blue symbol here and also the buttons on it. To me, were just really cute. Little details for me make a huge difference. Uh, anyways, I can wear it open and I can style it up so many different ways. It's a classic button down. I love the fit of it. It's an extra small men's. So for me, that just fits perfect for like an oversized fit. It's not too long. It's not too short. It's not too wide. It's just kind of the perfect look that I was going for. Now I have a green button down. Okay guys, so here's how I have styled up this beautiful green button down. You can see here it is a like oversized, it's longer. So I'm really feeling, I don't know why, but I really felt like putting a dark blue jean on. Low rise pant and they're like that flared cut. They're also by Hudson. These were also thrifted and I got them for like $10. But I love Hudson, they're like my favorite denim brand. And then I'm just kind of like spicing up the uh, the green. I added this fun necklace that was a gift from my mother-in-law one year for Christmas. And it has red, yellow, green, black beads or whatever. I don't even know, wooden beads. And then I added this wonderful, this is like one of my favorite thrifted finds back in the day when I first started thrifting. So like around 2009, I got this beautiful leather hobo bag. It's such a classic piece, it's in excellent condition still. And then I have on boots, black boots. Um, these are old, and I just think this is a really fun way to wear this awesome colored button down, dark blue. I kept on the tank top that I had, that black tank top, and I just like the idea of pulling in the black colors with the shirt underneath and then adding some uh, pops of color with the necklace. I think this is a really stylish, chic outfit. And I don't really wear this necklace, so this was something that just kind of sparked a little bit of, ooh, I should try that and see how it looks. So I actually really like it with this top. Okay, next up is a pair of, I do not know the print. It's not really a houndstooth print, um, but it's very tiny, kind of like a houndstooth, like tiny print. These are the perfect color trousers. I fell in love with these because they have the pleated and their relaxed leg, which is a hot trend right now in terms of pants silhouette styles. To me, they kind of reminded me of Tibby style pants, and Tibby's one of my favorite designers. And anyways, I love how they look on the waist fits perfectly. I absolutely love them. They are not like super expensive pants. The brand is like Arrow. Um, so I don't think they're generally an expensive brand, but the quality of them is really nice. So it's not really about the brand when you're thrifting. It's really the overall feel. Looking at the seams, you know, is it stitched well together? Is it gonna hold up? And how is the fit? So overall, these pants fit 
all those little criterias that I like and I feel like they're going to be so versatile in my closet. How I wanted to style up this look is obviously I think when you wear a loose trouser like this um, that a very fitted top is always the best way to go and I love the black and the light brown. So I thought that I would try a cropped jacket because cropped jackets and blazers are like such a hot trend right now and they're definitely going into spring and summer as well. I love the look of this. The fact that the buttons are in uh, the silver tones so I kept in those fun chain link earrings and I like the silver tones with the pants. I think that's a nice color combination and then for shoes I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to try um, an Oxford style shoe and they have silver in uh, details on the heels. So I'm going to try these on. Okay, so I really like um, how these shoes look. I don't really ever wear these shoes. They're Franco Sardo. I love them. I got them from TJ Maxx and I think they just really complete the look. They have the little bit of silver details in uh, the sole area. So we're going to go ahead and finish the look with the crossbody bag. I think this is really chic. I never would have worn this outfit probably um, or these shoes. And obviously they look good with this style pant, this kind of shoe style. So I'm really liking this. And I love the crop jacket idea. This is giving me major Camille vibes from Emily in Paris. My next item up here is a vintage Lady Manhattan uh, skirt that I got. It's linen. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's in really good condition. It did have a couple of stains. They're not bad enough. I got a little bit of them out and they lightened a tiny bit and they are not noticeable at all once on. So I really am so happy that I found this. I don't have an orange skirt and I love orange. When I wear orange, it just it's just a great pick-me-up color. And this is a hot trend for spring 22 coming up, ladies. orange skirt I thought I would try something totally crazy here I normally never would ever wear black and orange together because it's hello Halloween but I am just really liking this crop jacket for some reason so I decided to play around with it I like the style because this is like that vintage pencil skirt and I feel like this kind of modernizes it a little bit and then I put on my black loafers and I kept in the chain link earrings, my big sunnies, and I just feel like this is a very like modern upgraded vintage look. Normally I would just pair orange with like nude colors and uh, very, very like lighter, like whites or tans or neutrals like that, but I'm liking this look. It's bold, it's fun, again, very early spring, and this is a hot color for spring. All right, next item up is a really cool, like it kind of reminds me of the Issey Miyake pleating that he does. This is just a vintage dress that I found. It might be from the 90s, 2000s, probably from the early 2000s. I just love the color of it. And I love that the front is a little bit uh, higher than the back. So it's got that high-low hemline. I love that it's really loose because I can just throw it on over a, tur a turtleneck or a long sleeve fitted top for like fall and tights and shoes or I can wear it literally just as is sleeveless for spring with some really beautiful heels and dress it up so I feel like it's really versatile and I just I love this color so much but I don't know I don't have anything like it and I feel like there's a lot of styling possibilities for my closet with it so I picked it up So how I wanted to style this was I really wanted to just dress this up. Originally when I saw it, I just, I got kind of like flapper girl 1920s style. I don't know what it was, probably the high-low hemline. But I just love it. I love the v-neck as well. So I'm really keeping my accessories very simple. I'm just wearing a gold metallic uh, hoop with uh, faux pearls wrapped around and then I have a gold metallic clutch with a silver um, hardware which is a great mix um, and then I have on shoes that are metallic gold shoes with like a cream colored 
block heel. And these are just so dainty and fun. And I feel like the gold mixed with the teal color is a really nice mix. I, I mean, you could do silver as well, but I feel like the gold really pops with this outfit. And this is just a, a beautiful, like going to dinner in the summer outfit. You could also wear this to a wedding. It's so comfortable, this style dress. So next I'm gonna get into uh, handbags. So I got three handbags and you'll never believe the prices I paid for them and then what they're actually worth. Um, I almost fell over. I literally found these because I was digging through like this, these bins that were by the checkout counter and I already had a Liz Claiborne bag in my hand that was $10 and I felt like it was too high. And so as soon as I saw these bags, I was like, bye Liz Claiborne. <laughs> I'm going home with these instead because they're way cheaper and they're worth a heck of a lot more money. So anyways, let's get into how cool these are. And the first one is a tote by Vince Camuto. And uh, this tote is so awesome. I freaking love the size of it. Totes were something that were on my, like, putting out in the universe list. I want tote bags. I want a nice classic tote. So this one is perfect for me because it's sleek and slender. I'm petite, so I don't feel like this overwhelms my frame, uh, my body size. So I was so excited. I paid $8.99 for this tote, guys. I mean, it's freaking incredible. I'm, like, amazed. So Liz Claiborne was $10. Vince Camuto... $8.99. That's why I love Goodwill. They have everything backwards with their pricing. So for styling up this handbag, I'm really making the most of what I have and I hope that I'm kind of teaching you how to do this. So I have the same black tank top on and the same skinny jeans by Hudson and I just thought that throwing on the trench coat would be a, such a fun like early spring outfit and so also leaving on the loafers that I've been wearing. I think this is such a fun spring look, early spring when it's still pretty cool out. And then I have these really fun sunglasses on again, the same chain link earrings. And then I just added this scarf that I've had for a really long time. It just looks really good with the khaki in this trench coat. And it's just got all sorts of browns and grays and creams and blacks and it just it also like a very pale soft blue so i'm adding a little bit of color to my neck area i just think this is such a chic look and when i think of, of a classic tote bag this is what i overall imagine in my head so very versatile all these pieces guys so this bag here i got for 5.99 it looks like a louis vuitton but it's not. It's not like a knockoff really either, but it does look very similar. And I just love the look of this and the style of this. It's so classic. I really like the idea of styling this bag with this blazer. This is a vintage blazer that I thrifted a year and a half ago maybe. I love the buttons on it. It's just so chic. I love that it's longer. Um, this just reminds me of, like, Kaya Gerber. Is that her name? <laughs> Cindy Crawford's daughter. Um, I feel like she would wear, like, an outfit like this. Don't forget your awesome black sunnies to finish the look. All right, and then this bag here. I don't know how to say the designer. It's Fowler, F-A-L-O-R, Firenze, uh, made in Italy. And this was $5.99. I almost fell to the ground. Anytime I see anything genuine made in leather, I look at the tags on the inside, and then I see made in Italy, I will always take it home. I'm like, $5.99? I'm like, goodbye, Liz Claiborne, because this is like incredible. So excited to have this bag. It's it's perfect, and I'm gonna style it very classic ways, a uh, black and white. I really think outfits will be key here to styling this red bag. Just so classic, so timeless really excited about it. This is my favorite find of this thrift haul so far. Yeah, definitely my favorite. Okay, so now we're sailing up my awesome Fellower handbag, my red bag. I love that it has silver hardware. So I put in again my silver earrings and then I wanted to tie in red and black with this look because I feel like a red bag 
needs a little bit of black. So I kept on the black tank. This is a very versatile tank top, can you tell? And then I threw on a vintage blazer that I got as a set. It's by Wilson's. And I just switched out the button. Uh, you should have saw on my community, I posted um, how awesome it is to switch out buttons. I really like how this looks now. It doesn't look uh, vintage to me. It looks quite modern. I love the bag. And then I'm just wearing my same jeans I just had on. I added those loafers back on with the silver hardware details, tying in all the silver here. And then I could do the sunglasses that I've been wearing. So I feel like this is a really fun French chic look. We're wearing color, bold color, but we're keeping neutrals for the rest of the outfit here and tying in all the hardware. I love this, this is so great. It's such a great fall look and uh, early spring look as well. So now I'm gonna get into shoes and then that'll be it. So I got two pairs of shoes. These are bare bottoms made in Italy, leather upper. I don't know how I feel about these, but they're a little big, but I like them. There's something about them that I like. I can't find them online anywhere, so I don't even know if they're like legit shoes. They're kind of fun. They're like wood and cork, I don't know, some kind of wood cork mixture on the on the soles. It's very strange, but they're cute. And I might put like maybe some padding on the inside uh, so that I don't slip or slip out of them um, because this type of shoe is easy to like hurt yourself in when you're walking. here they're a little they're a little big they're probably about one size too big um, so what I'm gonna do is put in those like rubber inserts that are supposed to be really comfortable so that my feet don't slide around otherwise they're really cute they're just a little big but I think I can work with them once the um, rubber materials in I won't go too forward in the shoe okay my last pair of shoes today my last item are just navy blue pumps and they're square toed and they have like a really cool heel to me the shape of the heel is kind of what caught my eye I had thrifted an older pair of a similar style shoe the bad thing is they started peeling um, so they were kind of dry rotted I didn't know these look like they're in better condition I'm gonna leather condition them really good and uh, they actually fit my my foot a little bit better and I just think they're gonna be fun to maybe add some shoe clips to and I feel like that's something I want to get into collecting so I'm lo currently looking for shoe clips that'll be really fun and just make these look a little bit cooler and more modern blue shoes what I did is I took a vintage silk blouse that has navy blue in it and all sorts of like very vintage color prints I just love this blouse so much and then I tied it at the waist and I paired it with a pair of navy blue trousers that I also thrifted they're by Talbot's they're petite length and I just think they're super chic so I think I could do um, this bone colored leather handbag because there's the same color in this top. And I think this is a complete outfit here for my navy blue shoes. So that's my thrift haul for today. I hope that you guys liked it and I hope that you got some new creative styling ideas. Maybe you have pieces that are similar in your closet. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.